It's been a long time. No one's seen me in almost... I don't know how long. How long has it been, guys? Has it been a couple of months? Maybe a year? I don't know when this video is actually coming out, so... When do you guys think? How long has it been? It kind of feels like it's been a decade. Um, I thought that this video should be something that I have to explain something, right? So I might as well try to explain it the best way possible. Now, <laughs> you're probably wondering, why am I wearing a hood? Well, this is sort of like my attire that I was thinking of um, recreating for the special occasion. Obviously, I had a rebrand. So as you can see, um, it looks a lot different, the channel. So let's talk about it. Hello. Oh my gosh, it's been so long, ain't it? Honestly, this video is one that I am hesitant on, like, the response on it, because never have I ever taken a break off of YouTube for so long. It's been such a long time where I've actually taken a literal break of, like, I want to say at least, like, two or, like, three months. It's been, I think, I don't know. As of this video, maybe it's been more than three months or so, but I've been trying to work on something to, you know, liven up the channel, probably revolutionize it. So I'm really looking forward to so much to come. First of all, let's talk about the rebrand. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this project was something that I was thinking about for the longest time because I always thought to myself, hey, I've went through all of these different phases where I started off from Nightcore Oath, um, that was something that, you know, really meant a lot to me, that sort of brand name, just Nightcore Oath, even though it's, it has a lot, just history, um, with me. And I went from Zoopy something, I can't even remember the name, to Zalo Sermon, to Loyalty, which is what it was beforehand. And so many other names that I can't even remember off the top of my head. But the one name that I was able to remember throughout the entire way through of this channel's history is Nykoroth. So I thought to myself, well, what else could work better rather than having that Nightcore name in the title? Because I know that that's what my channel started off with. That's how I got so many subscribers. And I'm lucky to have those subscribers still sticking around with me. You know, I really do like appreciate those subscribers that have stuck around. It still has the end. So it sort of is like symbolic of where I came from. Like those two first letters is something that I really, really did want to keep. And the whole meaning behind my banner and everything, realistically, you'll see it at the end of my videos from now on as my outro, which I actually created my own outro song. So you guys will actually see that by the end of this video. So let me know what you guys think of that as well. I created it on my own. Um, no one helped me and I don't have any sort of experience in music. So I, I tried my best and I tried making it sound the best as I could. And I thought to myself, why not go back to my roots and how I grew up and sort of like had so many influences when coming up with my banner. Um, first of all, I should mention that the artist who created this is Innocently Creating, just right there. Oh my gosh, thank you Innocent. Um, it was like um, one of a kind piece that I had done. It took about like a month um when i first brought it up to her but um knowing innocent she's always been like a positive influence throughout my time like going through different phases of channel names and stuff so um her sort of content helped me out throughout that time so also she's a really fantastic artist let me tell you um and she has her own voice acting so definitely go check her out if you have the time ever <laughs> i don't have the time anymore i try to but um, she is the artist that created my banner and I just want to say thank you because it was absolutely amazing. Um, but what, what was I getting on to? Oh yeah, the banner. The banner, oh my gosh, the concept for this banner was like outrageous. In my mind, I went through many different themes. I went from space to farming themes to the ocean. 
I, I had the whole thing thought out, but I thought many, uh, I would grab a lot of influences from different things that I liked growing up. And so I thought, why not like a throne room? Um, some sort of influences uh, went into that sort of design that I came up with. So even just the model itself is very inspired by a lot of things that I loved growing up. Um, just for example, one, you probably noticed it, it really is Kingdom Hearts themed, but no one will never know why I actually have a heart that's like right here on my model. I'm not wearing that sort of red uh, turtleneck that I am wearing in my thing. Hopefully I can actually get like a, a turtleneck like that one because I would really love one like that. That has some sort of meaning that I'll keep to myself. Um, but whoever is watching it will obviously know like why I did that. Um, so it's very meaningful to me. Just wanted to say that this is the final change that I'll ever have on this channel. I took a lot of consideration when thinking about rebranding my channel because I wanted something that felt like what I started off doing. Having that sort of part um, in my name was felt very at home i think just creating a lot of things a lot of projects i've been working on on the back burner while i was away don't worry i didn't just go freaking watch anime all day and just make content out of that oh wait i think that's what i was actually gonna get on to oh yeah so i am actually having a very very big uh brand change um, and this is something that I really wanted to talk about, which is because I found that with content creators, they always derive from trendy shit. And I hate that so, so much. I thought to myself, hey, why don't I try something else? Something that no one's ever tried before. Oh, wait, people have watched anime and tried to do reactions off of it. Oh, wait, some people blow up from that. Oh, my gosh, I don't believe it. So there's so much different kinds of content that I want to do with this channel, like reacts to watching new anime live. Probably can't show it right now, but I do have a projector screen and I will do like a setup video tour um, of just my whole setup because there's a lot to go through. I got some anime reacts. I got some unboxings. I got a lot, a lot of stuff that I really want to do, including playthroughs of games that I want to do. More otaku based stuff, like sort of Japanese style stuff that I really wanted to dive into, react to. Just so much of uh, things that I want to do rather than just being a streaming only channel that streams nothing but Genshin TCG all freaking day. Trust me, I have a TCG video planned and it's not the kind of TCG video that you guys have in mind. Um, but let me tell you, that video is going to be funny as shit <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to that video. So many video ideas planned. Let me tell you, I've spent so much time taking away from this channel to come up with so many video ideas. I, I cannot fathom the amount of like list of ideas that I've come up with that are so original and will make people laugh so freaking much. Honestly, I'm just looking forward to it. And this is the beginning of my AnyTuber journey, doing anime uh, kind of content. I'm gonna be doing Japanese style content. There's so much to do and I'm just trying to enjoy the most out of it. I hope you guys can kind of support me on that um, because I know I've been like all over the place throughout this whole entire journey. I've changed my name so many times. I've changed so much of who I am. The one thing that I've always felt that I am is Noble Oath. Noble Oath came up in my mind because someone once called me Noble and I never forgot about their words that they told me so long ago. So that's why I thought I might as well stick to my roots and stick to who I think I really am. Because in reality, I don't want to be like everyone else. I don't want to be doing the same thing over and over and over and over. Trust me, there will still be Honkai stuff. There will still be Genshin stuff. There will still be those things but I really want to try something new. 
and try living my own life. Is that so wrong? I don't think so, right? How would you feel if someone wanted you to play Genshin for eight hours straight and that was it? Like, imagine if you were doing that. <laughs> I could go into Genshin a lot more. I'm not gonna. But that's just a prime example. No one's gonna be doing the same thing over and over for that long and not be happy with themselves. You get to a breaking point where you just don't want to do that anymore. And it's not the fact that you don't want to do it anymore. You just want to change it up a bit. You might notice a lot of change in like, like even the positioning of this camera. I've gotten some upgrades and stuff that I thought, you know, might actually liven up the channel, make it more brighter rather than so gloomy and just the same thing over and over. I don't really like that. So I'm definitely going to try a lot of newer stuff and go from there really but if you guys do have any questions regarding any info and what's to come definitely ask it in the comments and i mean i'll be there you might be asking yourself am i still gonna stream honkai now to answer your question i'm not but i will be uploading the videos of each chapter that i go through in a react sort of way you know the main sort of core things that i get from each chapter moving forward so i'm definitely gonna still be streaming those but in a video format that way it's more entertaining and you guys can watch through along with it i think that's a lot easier because i can actually put some little edits here and there to you know just liven up the actual video because i think that's something that i was missing from my streams i'm not a really good streamer let me tell you but i will try my very best to produce some you know entertaining videos that's what i really want just a lot of content moving forward but i hope you guys will enjoy those sort of things if you guys do have any questions feel free to leave some comments down below i'm always going to be answering let me just say i'm really excited for this new journey and i hope you guys are willing to come along for the ride with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and end off the video here if you guys did enjoy feel free to smash 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 that like button and i will see you guys in the next video enjoy my new outro Wait, is that the end of the video? Oh my gosh. Did you guys like my outro? I don't know. Oh gosh, now I'm gonna think about it.